Hi, I am Sina Racina. Welcome back to this Gaia 1 Complete. We are in episode 7 now, so let's start. Yes, let's check data. So, yeah, I got pissed and kicked him right there. There? Where is there? You know. Hmm. <laughs> oh, my. So, what happened after that? Well, of course. Hmm? laughing about i can hear you from across the castle i accidentally pressed fast forward so i hope it's just you know skip the ethno laugh <laughs> if not i i don't think it skipped like a piece of uh, uh a piece of the scene so yeah but, dialogue but Prince, that's the word i was looking for <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it's just a picture of what's so <gasps> <laughs> So I think this is the first time we actually see Lahar like make this reaction. I didn't know you were into that kind of thing. I'm a bit shocked. What, 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 what is this? It's a humiliating photo of you. Now I'll be honest, I don't remember if they show it or not, like the picture. If they don't, I'm actually going to look for it just to show it to you. <laughs> Because uh, I think there is like, you know, uh, an image of this picture going around the, on the internet. But who the hell took it? How should I know? By the way, something's written on the back. What? Dear Prince, Dear Prince oh. Laharl, an embarrassing photo of you is in my possession. I await your arrival in Jotunheim. If you choose to decline my challenge, copies of the photo will be scattered throughout the netherworld! It is my wish to contend for overlordship in a fair, agreeable manner. I mean, they are demons, so it makes sense this is fair. Still, it's pretty fun. Damn it! Fair, agreeable manner? This is playing dirty! But isn't that the demon way? Yeah! True, but this crosses the line! So, are you going or not? It's definitely a trap. Indeed. Of course I'm going. If this picture is spread throughout the netherworld, I'll be ruined. Yes. Whoever you are, you just wait. I'll char you and your paparazzi shots in the eternal flames of hell. Episode 5, Etna's Secret. So we are finally going to find out, you know, what's Edna planning behind Lahar's back. So first let's talk about, uh, I mean, let's talk to the vassals. Whoever sent the challenge must have had a lot of confidence. Indeed. From one thing to the next, I, it must be hard, friends. If you think so, then let me a hand. Haha, <laughs> that's a good one. So yeah, if the vassals, you know, they, they lay me a hand, I mean, their levels are good enough for uh, to be like the final boss of the game, and even that's with all the equipment. Yeah, they should be able, you know, all three, if all three take on the final boss of the story mode, yeah, they could truly defeat him. Or her, was it her? Ah, don't worry, we will find out eventually. The Supreme Overlord, an Overlord who is more powerful than all others. But they say that there is one who surpasses him, even, even him, the Lord of Terror. Huh, there is no such thing as someone stronger than the Overlord. That's just a legend. Uh, actually, yeah, the Lord of Terror does exist and you can face, uh, face it in here. He's pretty powerful and, and he keeps coming back each game. I think if they eventually manage to seal him. Or it? I, I don't know. I think it's a male, I want to say. But it could be either, so. Yeah, but it is pretty powerful. That's no lie. I'm actually a father of two. Uh, 
Ah, Prince, I heard about the bears in photos. I never thought a demon like you would be that kind of stuff. How could this be happening? My life will be over if those pictures get out! So yeah. Oh yeah, let, let's see what Edna has to say. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Doubt and decision. This is all for my memories. It won't do anything good feeling guilty now. I have nothing more to lose. Who cares about anyone else? I have my own way of life. No one's gonna get in my way. This is my only option. So yeah, it sounds like Edna is about to do something pretty stupid, considering she's not even a, uh, a higher level than me. So, oh, the zombie. Johenta, uh, Jotunheim is a land so cold that even your blood freezes. Big deal, right? Okay, so... Uh, up to now, up until now, I've been, you know, just uh, pushing through as, as hard as I can during the story mode. I only grinded like one time off screen. But I want, you know, the episodes to start at the start of the of the epi of the episode in game. In this case, we're in episode five in game, and we're in episode seven overall in this playthrough. So yeah, I want to play a whole episode each each time. But, as you have, may have realized, each time an episode ends, the other one it starts automatically and there is no way to, you know, save uh, and then play before starting the next episode. So I need to grind between this, uh, during, during the, the episodes. But instead of, you know, boring you with all of that, I'm going to just my, uh, my now planted uh, Government-mandated off-screen level grind, so I'll be right back in a few seconds uh, for you. For me, it's going to be a couple of hours, so uh, see you then. Okay, I'm back. Oof. That was actually pretty long, <laughs> for me at least, I mean. Okay, so... As you can see, I have more health. Actually, I had it like almost a hundred thousand, <laughs> but I uh, upgraded my shop and I bought more items. Also, uh, I picked some items from the item world along the way, plus money, plus a lot of experience. So these are my stats now. So yeah, this is my party. Also, say hello to Jack. Jack is a scout. Uh, this is the other class I unlock uh, at the same time as the thief. So, uh, scouts uh, are not that useful, they can change like geo panels in any map, which sounds super cool until you realize you have to clear the map first. So yeah, I think they are supposed to be for item, I, item world only, since in the item world you can do, you, you know, use their abilities without having to clear the map first, since that they are randomized. So consider uh, the scouts more of a reroll on the item world in case you don't get, you know, uh, good placements for the the panels and things like that, geo panels. Okay, yeah. So I train hot myself. So Jessica and Faith have been just getting like experience from, you know, be just being there. They don't do much. Uh, same with Edna and Flon. I mean, I want to train Edna, but she, I mean, just look at the heart. Look at that attack. Now look at Edna. Look at the heart. Now Edna. So yeah, I'm trying, but Edna doesn't have like spears only give you. They are good for attacking at a distance, but they are not as good as swords. Uh, Flon is, you know, just hanging in there. She's a good healer, at least. She will get better with time, just trust me on that one. That one. Uh, Freya, uh, just look at that hit. So yeah, I've been, you know, just giving her everything uh, that I have that, I, that can increase her hit. Uh, Saria, just level 19, so yeah, she has pretty good level. 
pretty good intelligence, higher than Flon's actually. And then Katrina, who uh, we weren't ex like we weren't going to use that much, but you know, she's now level 21. As I said, Jessica and Faye, the Prinius Welfare just there, and Hogmeister that just, you know, helps once in a while, finally Jack. Alright, so let's start the, the episode now. The location specified in the challenge was Jutenheim, correct? Why? Is something wrong? Well, the gate leads there is being opened from the other side, as if someone were waiting for you, Prince. Huh. A confident foe, isn't he? Very well, this may be a trap, but I'll enjoy it anyway. So yeah, there, there are maps you can use to, you know, train. Okay, attack, a minus 15%, defense plus 50%, I like that minus 20%. So yeah, there are maps in the regular story that you can use to train. But you don't get like items or like that much money from that unless you keep like going to the dark assembly to increase the difficulty. But at that point, nah, I just prefer to use side the item wall. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> I overshot it by a lot. I mean, they are level 12. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, I guess I have to destroy this one. You know what? I'm going to... Oh, just before I forget, I need to turn this on. Okay, so the ally damage, 20% inflicts damage every two to allies only, so... Yeah, this is the one we have to get rid of first. As you can see, everyone is weak to fire, so this is just telling you, you know, use a fire mage to kill all of this yeah they don't even have like that much uh, resistance but I don't have a fire mage and I think it's a little too late for that for now so what I'm going to do one two three four five six perfect just throw the heart over there and use my new attack, Wing Slayer. So yeah, this is my uh, one of the new attacks I learned by leveling up, and I think this is for using the sword, the uh, getting sword mastery. I mean, so let's try it. Here I come. Oh wow. Oh yeah, it's because they, they have defense plus 50, but even then, I mean, yeah, look, their defense is 68, 61, 65, 31 in case of the Geo symbol, and they are level 12, the heart is level 25, He's, and just look at his attack, I mean, So yeah, uh, I don't know what's up with that. Oh, it's because my attack is half too. Yeah, of course. So yeah, this is, uh, as I said, this is just, you know, encouraging you to use magic. Okay, I can use, you know, the wind mage. I just need to throw her over there. Just a square and dead, 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 dead. There we go. Now we are safe, fish. Of course, they are going to try, you know, to get to us. But <laughs> I mean, come on. Okay, I have an idea. I can use Blade Rush with Jessica. I'm not going to be hitting for much. Oh yeah, I can destroy this one. What defense? Okay, let's let's make them weaker. Like this. Okay, no. I can use. 
Yeah, even regular wing doesn't get like that far. Okay, let's see if I can, you know, kill the panel again. I think I can. It shouldn't be like super hard. Yep. Very dead. Okay, so that takes the defense away from them. Now to take this one. You know, I'm thinking I can use magic I, even if the, the panel is resistant to it. Just give me a second. There we go. I learned Giga Eye since I got past level 20. I think she learns at 20. Or maybe it's from just using a lot of eyes, but it doesn't matter. Oh, come on! Hmm. What else I have? What else do I have I need? Uh, I can throw Etna and use Prini Raid. That's the only, like, idea I have right now. Yeah, Flon doesn't have, like, the best throw range. I, I'm not going to make it, so I'm going to you know, change plans. Just Hurricane Rush. And uh, Impaler. Oh, wow, that didn't even kill the... Okay, that's okay, I'm going to survive this. They have attack plus, I mean, attack minus 15%, 50% like me, yeah. They're barely, you know, making a scratch. I, I hate, like, yeah, those attacks because they put conditions on you. I think that uh, poisons you. Yeah, it's poison. Ah, but that's okay, I can use, you know, I know destroy this and then kill them. There we go. As for the heart. Yeah. Huh. You see, I, I'm, I'm targeting the three of them, but I'm only, like, picking two of them for the attack. That's because of the height. Like, I am on a higher level uh, position, so... Yeah, that's why that's happening, but I think I can use Blade Rush if I get here. Yeah, and that targets the three of them because, you know, I am not so up there. As for you two... Well, I guess I can use, you know... Oh yeah, you were weak to fire, right? I can do this, I just need to move you out of the way. And I'll just place you here. There we go. Here I come. Now that's damage. Okay, so... Oh, yeah. Okay, Hurricane Slash. This should kill it. Okay, only one left. Let's see what it tries to do. That was so sad, like, he tried to attack Lahar. I'm going to try and kill him with Flon. I didn't even check, like, if they had something I could steal. Because I actually got, like, a better version. First, let me get rid of this one so I'm not going to be needing. 
Oh yeah, I, I got a better version of the plunder hand. It's right here. Chachin hand. So yeah, it has, you know, a higher rating of stealing and uh, more range. Oh, this one has a story event. Let's see what happens. Who are these guys? I was looking forward to seeing what terrifying trap awaited me, but instead I find these puny little demons. What? You got something to say? A wonderful life. Uh, okay. <laughs> World peace. <laughs> Let's all be friends. Oh, wow, okay. Maharo, what's wrong? Also, the girls take initiative, uh, it's a reference to the Rhapsody, a musical adventure game I, I mentioned. That's uh, something they say like in the opening scene. Uh, Rhapsody is actually an RPG, a story RPG that is also a musical. So in self cutscenes you get little musical beats. So yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it hurts the heart. It's very funny. Is that so? Let's see. Eternal love. Ah! Uh. Ah! The most dreaded word in existence. You, you, you trying to kill me? The heart is just going through, you know, puberty. But that's my favorite word. Oh. Damn it! How did they know my weakness? The harsh stats have temporarily decreased. So yeah, they basically cut my stats in half. Uh, lucky for us, that just means I'm down at their level. I'm not weaker, I'm still a little stronger than them. Uh, I think only the ninja, yeah, and the scout. Now, the scout has another ability that's pretty neat and it really doesn't get explored in any of the other Disgaea games and that's pretty sad. He can summon a turret and you can use the turret to gun down all the enemies in the screen. It's pretty cool, but that's it. It doesn't have a, a great damage output. It's pretty weak. Which is pretty sad, I mean, it sounds a lot of fun, but once you get to use it, it's like, eh. Okay, so let's not use Lahar for this level. Also, I should really be uh, making a fire mage for later. So I'll tell you what, once we finish this, uh, the, next, the next episode I'm going to make a fire mage. I wasn't planning to uh, on the, uh, until now, but you know, plans change. Okay. Oh yeah, they are weak to fire. I can use. There you go. Yeah, she has this. There we go. And they are not weak to uh, win, but oh, I learned Giga Win. That's great. In case the Gawain doesn't kill you, I'm going to use... Oh yeah, I can use Magic Boost. Okay, new idea. This, and then Magic Boost. Let's try Hawkmeister. Oh, he doesn't like... I forgot to give him shoes. Alright, let's try it now. Let's see if, if the pre rate can do something. There. I should like use Brave Power on Edna. 
Yeah, because that damage is beautiful. Okay, just uh, no, not the hard one. Just setting like some units to protect the mages. I fuck my sword. Look, she she did more damage than Edna, and she's like not even a main character. She's just a generic unit. I mean, it's not like I haven't been upgrading Edna, because I have. That spear is new. So is the armor. Yeah, I think one of the main problems Edna has is that she doesn't have, like, any attacks that target multiple enemies for now. She learns some, some uh, along the way. I think a little tiny she should learn, like, Sexy Beam, I think. But for now, yeah, no, not that useful. Okay, I can use a cross pattern attack in here. Or I can put Hot Miser in here and use his, yeah, oh. Oh, he, he has to be like behind them. I can fix that. Uh, okay, let's move the mage here. And use. Oh, my sir. Oh. Oh. Not the best idea. Okay, here. There we go. Now he can do this. Yeah, hit all of them. And then... Hmm. I'm gonna be using you... No. Mega Wing, yeah. But before that, I'm going to... Magic boost you again. Now I'm ready. Here we go. Oh! That was stronger than I expected. I mean, as you can see, Hawkmeister has a lot of attack. So yeah, even him is like more useful than Edna at this point, which is pretty sad. Okay, uh... I'll try to kiss these two with uh, Mega Win. Maybe it works, maybe it won't, but let's see. I was pretty close. I can, you know, finish one of them. With this, um, no, the premium rate doesn't like, and I can move. Oh, I can use this. There we go. And then instead of you, I attack. Oh, I was on the right one all along. And then. Come on, this has to kill it. Okay, finally. Ooh, a cycle. Are you alright, Lahara? Barely. You nearly finished me by saying that. You mean eternal love? Ah, stop! You are doing it on purpose, aren't you? <laughs> Prince, this isn't time to be fooling around. We have to get that photo back. You think I don't know that? Hmm. Are you sure we can allow this to continue? I thought something needed to be done. I would have done it long ago. I have faith in her. Huh. Don't worry needlessly. 
But I understand, I shall take measures just in case. Okay, uh, I don't remember if like the, the stat down is during the whole episode, I think it is. So yeah, Lahar is going to be weakened. Well, is he okay now? Let's check. Hopefully. <laughs> oh wow, those uh, Sukus sure like uh, know how to. Yeah. Laharo, why are you screaming? I I don't know why, but for some apparent reason, I can't stand women with sexy bodies. <laughs> on a side note, flat-chested girls like you have absolutely no effect on me. <laughs> like yeah, he's totally just you know a teenager going through puberty. As I mentioned. Well, excuse us for being flat. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that because I wanna show it to to a member of our Discord. Oh, it's a, a vampire. <laughs> Actually he looks like Dimitri from Darkstalkers, but you know with longer hair hair. It has been a while, Prince. Do you still remember me? And he has, you know, the Dracula accent. How could I forget you? You're Medeiros, the vessel who was banished from the castle for stealing my old man's favorite snack, black pretzels. <sighs> now that's what I call pathetic. Yeah. So, black pretzel snatcher slash outcast, what is it <laughs> that you want from me now? I wish to become overlord, of course. <laughs> what a joke. What could you, a pathetic loser banished for stealing pretzels, possibly do to me? Stop talking so tough, Prince. I know all of your weaknesses. Isn't that right, Edna? Oh. Edna, you? <laughs> I wish the, the sprites, like, you know, the in-game sprites could emote. <laughs> this looks a little silly like that, but you know, if you look at the, the foreground sprites, they look much better. Or I should say images, they're not sprites. You just realized it. Pool! Yes, Etna is my loyal dog. As long as I hold her memory in my hands, she'll do whatever I ask. Etna? Oh, flown. Now, dear prince, this place shall become your grave. Etna, you've served your purpose. I am quite pleased with the results. Now die alongside your prince. So yeah, he didn't have like any intentions of returning her memories to it. his uh, her memories to Etna, so. That's pretty scummy, I mean, Edna did everything he asked. But we had a deal! What about my memory? What use are memories to you when you are about to die? <laughs> it all makes sense now. No wonder he knew my weaknesses. You took those photos, too, didn't you? Laharu, it was only because that demon stole her memory. Silence! I accept no excuses from a traitor! Stop blabbering and get these sexy women <laughs> out of my sight! <gasps> okay, now, this is a very interesting uh, stage. As you can see, it has invincibility. What you have to do is walk all the way over here, take the geo panel and throw it here so you know. And you don't have to worry about the enemies along the way because everyone is invincible, so neither you or them can take damage. But this setup this sets up like an interesting uh, uh, 
strategy you can try. So what you want to do, I'm not going to do it myself because I don't need to. I could do it off screen later, but not now. So anyways, you want to take all of these monsters and fuse them into one. So everyone is level 14 and there are 2, 4, 6, 8 monsters. So if you multiply 14 uh, by 8, you get, let's see, 24... Uh, uh, level 116 yeah level 116 monster so you could uh, like try to recruit that since everyone is invincible you don't have to worry about being damaged of course you you will have to have a lot of monsters and units to because that, uh, as I mentioned before, that uh, level 100 plus monster is going to be battling everyone until it gets tired, and when it, once it gets tired, it's yours. So yeah, uh, what you can do is try to damage it, damage them uh, individually. Like take off this and damage each one of them individually, so when you fuse them, you know the the resulting monster will be very weakened but i i already got too much let's do it let's do it okay like you see she's you know in my way so actually i want a succubus so i'm going to show you you know what i just told you the heart can kill oh no his stats are still like a little on the short side uh, I'm gonna try, you know, still. Look. So yeah, I capture an enemy. But I lost... Uh, I didn't lose anyone. Oh yeah, as you can see, Hawk Miser is a little... Uh, he, he needs more HP. She didn't attack the... Oh! She killed one pretty. <laughs> and everyone else seems to be okay. I mean, Katrina received some damage. Yeah, but aside from that, I already, uh, I got me a succubus. And I don't have to train it. It's, it will always be that level. I can even try to, you know, capture one of these Nekomatas too. And yeah, as you can see, Hogmeister is the one who ta was taking like most of the damage. Everyone else is okay. And I could do that with all of these monsters. Like, I could keep like <laughs> trying to uh, kidnap them. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. I really like the Succubus sprite, I like the colors, and of course the fact that it's a Succubus. <laughs> I think it's really pretty, the only thing I don't like is the horns. I think they are too big, but nah, that's okay. So, the only thing I need to do for this is... I can even like, yeah, I just fused them, I, like, this is a level 28 monster, it's stronger than Lahar. But stat-wise, nah, Lahar is still stronger. Also, I just noticed, like, Lahar's attack went up. I wonder what's up with that. That's new to me. Maybe because it's because there are less enemies in the stage? What I'm going to try to do is to, you know, lure this uh, succubus and try to capture it. I mean, it's level 28, so I may be in, little, in a little trouble, but I think it's worth it.
Now that's a little uh, a little too much HP, so what I'm going to do is destroy the this one first, and then attack with one of the mages, and hopefully not kill her. Okay, party's over, ladies. Now no one is invincible, that includes me. There. Okay, that's good damage. I think I can try to take her on like this. If not, I still have Lahar, so I wouldn't worry that much. Ah, this is taking a while. Ooh! Yeah, so as you can see, she no longer has SP. I should have waited. I think, uh, if I remember correctly, the SP has to do a lot with that too. I, I mean, like trying to remember. At least my stats are getting higher by the, by the moment, so by the minute, I mean. Yeah, summons a turret, so... Yeah, see, this is what I meant. And you have just like a couple of seconds to use the turret, but it's pretty really useful. But now he's just trying to like point at me. I think he's going to attack me because he's a neutral unit. I cannot use my attacks, but... I can at least kill the Nekomata. Oh, yeah, as you can see. I can lift it and throw it. Like over here, so it attacks the Nekomata instead of me. But don't worry, I, I have Lahar. Yeah, so it's just the heart. I got a little greedy, but that's okay. It's just part of the experience also. Yeah, they still with to fire. I have like... I can use this, but not now. I can use Hobble or Frat. I think from here I can, yeah. The succubus no longer has SP, so I'm not very worried. She's just going to, you know, try to attack me, and I will just counter it. But yeah, you can like try that. Like you can capture a bunch of level 14 necromatas and succubus, and once you have like I don't know, like 20 of them, you can try to uh, fuse two to make a uh, 20 level 28 and try to capture that and once you try you capture that capture another level 28 and once you have enough of those try to fuse three monsters and so on and so on okay time to get rid of you so yeah see and that's it. And I even got a level up. Now the good thing about this is that I, I if I go to the hospital I'm going to get a reward. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm going to, you know, reset until I get like a rare item. So BRB. Okay, I'm back. That took less than a minute. Uh I already got the, the moon orb. So yeah, and now the Devil Ring. Like the emblem items are, are very great for Lahar. Uh, where are 
they... As you can see, the Imperial Seal has been leveled up like 10 times in the item, item world. And yeah, the Devil Ring is just better. So yeah, I'll give like uh, Lahar the Devil Ring. I'll give you a uh, Flum the Moon Orb and also instead of the Bushido Armor. I mean, she's going to lose defense, but you know, she really needs the extra stats. The Bushido armor I can give yeah to you. Yeah. As for the star or uh, I guess I can give you I want to you. Uh, excuse me for a moment. I think. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Uh, someone was at the door. It was a delivery. <laughs> okay, so in this case I lose defense. It's not that much defense actually. That's very weird. Like, the Star Orb doesn't give me, like... Any defense. And even then... Like, uh, I'm not losing, like, all of my defense. Huh. How interesting. Wait. I'm uh, just checking something. Oh, uh, there is uh, a little trick about uh, uh, on the reason why you want legendary items let me explain now okay so you have the item status it says the name of the item star orb and right below it it says rare in this case it should say rarity so it's it gives you like this is an, an a rank i mean a rarity 18 item uh the staff is 130 this one is 76 and this one is 27 but if you, if you, for example, have a bunch of items that were all the same rarity, like uh, 18, for example, like if this was 18, this was 18, and this was 18, you will get like a, a bonus to your stats for each item. So yeah, it's pretty great. But you have to actively check in like, to look for the same rarity. And that's why legendary items are great because the legendary rank items are just ranked from zero to nine or something. So you you won't have to like be looking for a lot of them to match the rarity, 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 the rarity, something like that. Sorry. I think I saw 25. In oh yeah, for example, the muscle ace. Let's try it. Let's try it now. So let's uh, unequip it from Edna. Let's see if there is another 25. There's a 27. Okay, and the bulletproof vest is also 25. So these two are 25. And the dark rosary. So all of these three items are like rank 25. Let's see if by any chance do I have like... Because I want to equip it to the... Yeah, to you. No, all of my, you know, my balls and things like that. Let's see if, like, the ones I have in here, no, the Mighty Axe, no. Join 25 either. No, the Power Belt. Mm -hmm. Alright, so just two, three. So, see, 436. If you look at the bulletproof vest, it only increases like my HP by two. And yet, when you look at my HP, when I equip it, like it goes up by like 28. So yeah. Also my defense goes up by 16. Yeah, by 16 instead of 15. And finally, if I put their dark grocery like 
my stat stats jump a little bit more. But that's just an example. So yeah, it's better if you do it with legendary items. Oops, I don't know what I did. I I think you have like the bulletproof vest, and Edna was the one who had the muscle, and Lahar had the rosa. Yeah, there we go. But since I changed like the equipment around, I need to you know, recover my HP. All right, let's go to the. I guess uh, final part of the episode, Ice Queen. Mm. You don't know when to give up, do you, Prince? But your luck ends here. Hi there, little boy. Like, I, I really like that, uh, you know, <laughs> the succubus. That's not all. Take this. A ray of hope. Oh! A pure heart. Stop it! <laughs> That's mean. That's Bowie. Can you withstand an attack against both of your vulnerabilities? Vulnerabilities. Ah! Laharo, hang in there! Whoa! Hold it right there! Wait, that's... Uh... When a lovely yeah. flower sheds a tear, I am there to wipe its sadness away. My flower shall bloom bearing love. They call me the Dark Adonis. Who are you? What is your name? He just said it. As I said, I am the Dark Adonis. I don't care who you are. Interfere, and you shall regret it. My, you are the one who asked moi for my name. In any case, I am not here to see you. Now then, how is everyone doing? You seem to be having some difficulty. What are you here for? Oh, how can you be so discourteous <laughs> moi? You seem to be working your way into quite a predicament. As your rival, I felt it was my obligation to warn you. Warn me? Laharl, do not be fooled by appearances. Relying on sight and sound will only lead to delusion. Open your mind's eye. Once you do, you will no longer be deceived by mere facades. The word facade, it's so interesting, like... Uh, the C sound, it's making an S sound, so facade instead of facades. So yeah. <laughs> My mind's eye? I, I used to read like as facade, but you know... Now I know it's Now's facade. Now's the time to set your mind free! Awaken to your power! <laughs> that was a wonderful speech and all, but I think you may have set the bar a bit too high for Laharl. Ooh, low blow flow. Oh, that in that low. case, just close your eyes and plug your ears. <laughs> now I have no weaknesses. The tides have turned, Maderas. Maderas. An interesting word. Uh, it means, it's the plural for Madera in Spanish. It means wood. <laughs> hmm. Hey, Edna, what are you waiting for? Kill Laharl! Oh, you were planning to kill Edna and now you're giving her orders? If you refuse, I'll erase your memory for good. Go ahead, why don't you? What? Two years ago, when the king died, I followed your orders and poisoned the prince. Ah. So that you would give me back my memories. What? You tried to poison me? Then that long nap was all because of... Your ears are plugged, yet you still <laughs> managed to hear that one <laughs> uh, Good point. That's right. It was because of the poison. But I hated myself for working under Medeiros. I didn't want to go on living like that. So I devised a plan to escape from under his thumb. Viren, why have you been following my orders until now? <laughs> you mean it's not clear to you? Let me explain it then. So yeah, basically Edna now is double crossing the double crosser. I was waiting for just the right moment to get my revenge on the bastard who ruined my life. From now on, I'll leave my life any way I choose. And no one's gonna stop me. 
How dare you turn against me, you double-crossing backstabber! Ah, the whining of a sore loser. It's music to my ears. I mean, you're a demon, you should be like wiser to know that it's not a good idea to trust another demon. Damn it! Brinnies, make mincemeat out of her! Dude! <laughs> Brinnies? You don't get it, do you? I just told you that I've been waiting for this moment. I bought out the Prinnies you hired to watch over me a long time ago. Comprende? You're just a stupid fool who fell for my trap. And the prince was my bait. Huh. Using me as bait? You're one ruthless girl. Oh, Prince, don't flatter me so much. It's not like Flan or Midboss were part of the plan. Indeed. Hmm. Women are scary. I agree. <sighs> From this day on, you're gonna pee in your pants every time you hear my name. You ready? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think the chainmail is like an okay item, maybe I should try to steal that, but aside from that, yeah, everything else is like, eh. Huh, so these ones are level 15 and these ones are level 14. I'll just be quick and to the point. Here I come. Oh wait, I cannot do that. Oh come on, and she's resistant to ice, yeah. I'll just, you know, use her with the attack. Oh, so close. There we go. Rip. Oh wow, like I've been getting like real strong. She's a thief and even she like took it and like it was nothing. Well, she's almost dead, but you know. Oh come on! Uh, that would have been great, but I'm not gonna complain that much. Just gonna do, you know, wind cutter. It's easier. Wait, I think I targeted like the wrong one, but that's okay. If they die, yeah, I won't attack them. Oh, uh, okay. Not what I was planning, but it worked out in the end. But now I need to, you know, give like the tip something to recover. Yeah, yeah. How much HP does she have? Okay, so... The cotton candy is enough. There we go. I can kill these ones with my ninjas. You take this. And I know you are resistant to ice, but maybe this will kill you? Hopefully, if not, I can finish you with Edna. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. It's because, like, Succubus are magical monsters. So they have, like, obviously more resistance. Nekomatas uh, are, like, physical monsters. Okay, so... That was a miscalculation on my part. But I can fix it. Da 
that's one. Maybe if I use the Nekomata, like this, I, I'll give her, like, maybe I have equipment at hand? No, just, you know, the items I was using, alright, at least she will just make uh, a good mid shield. Come on! Oh. You have a, a, a counter number, a three, like a three level counter, and even then you couldn't like counter even once. Oh, that's all, like, I, I can only use, you know, this patch 10 units, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah. That's all of them. Oh, my HP! Rapid kick. I'm going to try to steal from Maderas. At, uh, I'll use my Chachin hand. Ooh! Oh, I can also steal his attack, but first let's steal the chain mail. There we go. And let's try. Yeah, the power of love. I'll just keep like Maderas distracted for as long as I can. Well, I heard look to stop. Lord, give me strength. There we go. So it's only Madera and me. Ooh. Oh, he's not an idiot. He knows, like, who, who's dangerous in this situation. Okay, I'll, I'll try to steal from him again. I'm not interested in, like, his weapon or anything, I just want his intention. Thank you! So, when you have the chance and you have, like, a, a good percentage, always go for, you know, the stats. Even if there are stats you don't use, uh, start up is start up, so yeah. Uh, okay, I'll try something. It's interesting, like how it points at me. I mean, I was hitting Maderas, so why, why try you like killing me instead? I just wanted, you know, to corner him, so yeah, I don't think what I want to do. I'll just steal like his yeah uh, his cut claws just to you know make him weak. Let's see how much attack does he have now. He has 211. And now he has 150, so he received like like the cut claw must be like 61 attack. Let's check that. Yeah, 60, 61 attack. There we go. Now to kill Maderas, you move out of the way. Look this to the professionals. And also the power of love again, because of course. Yeah, again, it's so weird that the Dark Cannon, like, targets me first. I guess, like, it has priority for... 
for the player. Oh, great, a combo. There we go. Give me, oh, Master Edna. <laughs> Your strength, beauty, and intelligence are unsurpassed in all the netherworld. Well, killing a loser like you would only dirty my hands, so I'll give you, you know what I want, right? Y yes, I will return Masala Harald's candid photos immediately, as well as your memory. Everything. Madera succumbed to fear and pledged his allegiance to Edna. Madera has joined your party without your consent. <laughs> Ooh, well, that settles that, doesn't it, Prince? No, it doesn't. You tried to poison me in my sleep. You used me as bait for your revenge. What kind of vessel are you? But, 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 but I don't mind that side of you. A true demon is always full of ambition and aims for the top. That is right. As king, I'll need a right-hand demon like you under my command. Prince! Listen up. I'm gonna work you into the ground. You better be prepared for it. Uh-uh. You better be prepared. I'll be watching your every move. If you don't prove yourself worthy of the throne, an accident may happen. Hmm. You can take my place if that happens. <laughs> don't worry. I will. That's strange. Laharl and Etna reconcile, despite all that's happened. I don't understand it, but I guess demons have their own way of expressing love. Yeah, that is correct. <laughs> I'm really surprised. I have never experienced anything like this before in Celestia. Episode 5, Edna's Secrets End. Hey, wait! Everyone! Are you not oh. looking at someone? <laughs> oh, that was really sad. <laughs> Episode 5, and the secrets end. <laughs> oh, that was very funny. Hi, everybody. I'm Edna. I'm a first grader at Netherworld Elementary. You look and act like a first grader, that's for sure. Um, my dream is to become a witch so I can get a cute boyfriend. Boyfriend? That's dumb. Lovely, sexy. Hey, no touching. Boys of the world, be my loyal slaves. Who'd want to touch you? Yeah, good. Next on Evolutionary Magical Girl Etna, Episode 6. Curse you, Flog. Get ready to be spellbound. Aren't you embarrassed to say something like that? Uh, they don't show the picture. So yeah, let me look for the picture. I, I believe it's like on Google or something. Just be right back. Okay, I have found a rendition of the picture. Let me show you. It's this one. Let me just save the game. Uh, so once I do this, the episode is going to be over, so I better, you know, uh, prepare to say goodbye. <laughs> well, that was this was a long episode, but only because, you know, I had to grind off screen. I think I, I'll do it again the next episode, too. Because uh, everyone is lagging behind Lahar, but on the other hand, I just need Lahar. Like you could literally just finish the game with Lahar. 
I think this is the only episode with where he gets crippled, and the next the, the rest of the game is going to be you know normal. But anyways, enjoy the video, leave a like, have something to say, comment down below. One more, please subscribe. It's this video ending, you can bet it is. So thank you so much for watching, goodbye. Thank you.